Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Chef De La Rosa of De La Rosa Associates. I'm trying to prepare a vegetable soup, and uh, I want to do a quick recitation of all the ingredients required to make the recipe. This is a blend of two green leafy vegetables, the fluted pumpkin leaves called ugu in local Nigerian language, and of course the regular green vegetables. I will tell you the botanical names later. These have been washed and diced into little pieces. And of course I have red onions here. You can put used to better for this large volume of vegetables. And right beside it is uh, scotch bonnet peppers, peppers and a few tomatoes which I have chopped into little pieces. Right here I have stockfish which I have rinsed in hot water to take out the, the worms and impurities and equally placed right here. Then right beside this is locust bean which I have equally rinsed to take out the particles, the particles and sand and kept right here. Then right beside it is the water which I have decanted of all the impurities after I have rinsed the locust bean so I can preserve all the nutrients intact. And right beside it is palm oil. You can see right here this is palm oil extracted from the palm fruits, red palm fruits. So these essentially make up all the ingredients which I'm going to be using to cook the um, green leafy vegetable soup. So let's see how it turns out. A video of all the ingredients required to cook the green leafy vegetables. Stockfish, locust bean, palm oil, chopped scotch bonnet peppers and tomatoes, onions and mixed green leafy vegetables. I'm about to commence the cooking of the vegetable soup, but there's something I left out when reciting the ingredients that make up the recipe. You, you still have to add cooked beef, or mutton, or chicken, or any or fish, or any other form of uh, flesh you want to use for your soup. Now to the soup proper, pour in a reasonable amount of palm oil, not too much, not too little, into a pot, and let it to heat up over the flame. Please do not let it bleach. Once it's hot, and you begin to transfer the scotch bonnet peppers that have been diced with the tomatoes and the onions, followed by the stockfish and the locust beans so that they all simmer together in the palm oil until they are softened. So let's do that right away. As you can see, the tomatoes that have been chopped and the pep scotch bonnet peppers are in, the stockfish is in, and I'm going to allow all this to cook for a while until it is softened. The reason why I'm bringing the stockfish here is that I don't want to go to a, a separate process of trying to steam them in another pot. So when these are softened a little, have softened to a point or cooked, I will now transfer the locust bean and stir them up together so that the final cooking is done. And this will be the prelude to introducing the mixed vegetables, which I will stir up with all this to make a homogeneous blend or mixture. While all this is uh, simmering or cooking to soften, it is important to note that there are uh, three other ingredients which I did not include when I was doing the recitation, which I will bring in later. It includes uh, bouillon or stock cubes, and of course some salt, and of course some red capiscum powder or Cameroon pepper powder. The Cameroon pepper grounded may not be necessary if the scotch bonnet peppers can give you the peppery taste you need in your soup. But you can put a little of the Cameron pepper and of course you must include the crushed uh, powdered stock seasoning and of course some salt to taste. Thank you. Well dear friends, as you can see the locust bean is already in because the chopped onions, tomatoes, scotch bonnet peppers are already seasoned. Now I'll begin to introduce the stock cubes, which I'm going to crush in powder form and put. 
You don't need much of this because the um, locust bean is a perfect natural sweetener. And of course, I'm putting in some about a little bit of salt, not too much. You must take into consideration people that are hypertensive who cannot uh, handle much salt. So, put salt in moderation. So I'm going to stir. And after this stirring, I will begin to introduce my mixed vegetables into this. And then finally, to make up for the thickness of the soup, I can add the water I decanted from the washing of the locust bean. So let's stay contented and watch as it goes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how the pot of contents turned out after I have gradually, systematically blended up the mixed vegetables with all the sauce and the stockfish which I had preferred. Now you can notice clearly that this soup appears a bit thick or dry. So now I'm going to introduce the water I got from the locust beans after I've rinsed it, I've uh, decanted it of uh, impediments or sand, and now use it to lighten because the initial amount of uh, oil, palm oil I added was sufficient enough. So now that this is done, I'm now gonna stir this up and let it simmer. It's optional, you could decide if you wish to want to add more red palm oil, but I don't like too much palm oil in my soups. So I'm gonna let, let this all simmer, and I will taste to see if I need to add a little more salt or a little bit more of stock seasoning as it may apply. Thank you for watching, this is Chef De La Rosa. Well, dear friends, our vegetable soup is ready. All that was necessary after all the ingredients have been incorporated and blended together was for it to simmer for about two minutes and it is done. Now note that this is a low budget vegetable soup. I didn't need beef or chicken or mutin or, or some other fresh fish like crocodile fish or titus fish to make it up all lovely. At the end of the day, we have achieved a tasty nourishing vegetable soup which is economical and you can enjoy this with uh, wheat semolina, you can enjoy this with pounded yam, you can enjoy this with uh, gari or eba or anything of your choice. You can equally serve it with rice or spaghetti and enjoy a tasty nourishing meal. This is Chef De La Rosa reporting. Thank you for enjoying this video presentation. Check out our Facebook page, check out our um, page on um, Instagram, check us out at Google, just look for De La Rosa Associates or De La Rosa Associates.ng for the link. Thank you very much for following. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful tasty soup is ready and is served here with wheat semolina. You can see the rich soup stocked with stockfish. You can see the locust bean. And it's all to be enjoyed with this with semolina which I have prepared in this case. I am Chef De La Rosa. Check out our Facebook page link at delarosaassociates.ng and other handles. Thank you.